Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my high wigs unit and also how to color it if you guys are interested in this beautiful color and I'm going to also curl it for you guys. So I'm just going to start off with a wig cap and I'm going to just get this got to be glue all over it so it can lay really flat and nice so when I go in and cut around it after putting my foundation powder on it, it's going to look like I have a balding cap on and it's just... Yeah, one of the things that I have been doing just to make my wigs look realistic, I'm sure you guys know about this step. This is when you really, really love a unit because not all the time you're going to do this extra step, but I, I'll let you guys know it does make a huge difference when you are wearing a lace front wig. So high wigs unit is what I'm going to be using today. Um, this unit has been through a lot. I bleached this hair four times two to get the knots to the color that I would like it to and also twice to just achieve the ginger shade that I needed so I'll talk to you guys about the hair color and stuff like that in a second but I'm just using some rubbing alcohol and let me tell you this step is really important because it just eliminates all of that extra grease or oil that you may have around the perimeter of your stocking cap and it just allows your wig to lay really flat on your head without any rolled up pieces and that's super important adding a little bit of foundation powder on your lace actually just ensures that you you're going to get the most realistic look when you start parting your unit so this is hot wigs hair so this is after me bleaching and dyeing and stuff like that i use two revlon box dyes to achieve this color and you'll see that towards the end what i'm doing right now is just brushing the hair out just so i can get it to look as full and beautiful as possible and just so you guys can see how beautiful this color turned out i end up bleaching the hair and i kept the roots majority dark because i would like it to be a little bit more wearable than just having it straight root to tip with this color i'm going to go ahead and apply the got to be glue spray around the perimeter of my forehead make sure the wig is laying really flat and it's not going to give me any troubles just going in with my blow dryer i need a new one i'm actually on my way out to go and get another one soon as i finish this voiceover but look at how beautiful this hair color is i know you guys are super excited so as you can see this side the roots are not really that dark but I'm not mad at it because I like switching it up sometimes. So I'm just using my one and a half hot tool curling iron to throw some really big curls in there, leaving it on the barrel for a little bit just so the curls can be really tight. Um, this hair, I want to say it was a straight unit because it does um, fall like a lot faster than like an actual texture that would have like a wave in it. So I think it was. It, I think it was a straight wig, so I will leave the details below, but I do have to add a little bit of hairspray so the curls can last a little longer, but that's why I believe it's a straight unit because the curls do fall faster than normal. So I love curling this hair just so I can really show off how beautiful this color is, and this hair just is just so nice. It's so nice. The parting space is really nice. I believe this is like a Swiss lace because the lace looks really natural on me and doesn't give off that really thick material and it's just really clocky it's really really nice so I just use my blow, blow dryer to just kind of like break up the curls a little bit so it can look a little bit more blown out if you would say so I'm just going to go in and tighten the curls up on my right side of me because I felt like I really rushed that side and it didn't look as good as my left side so I'm just fixing that up and I'm going to do the same thing just blow them out and just you know kind of feathered the top part of my hair so it can look a little bit more blown out like I said before okay so I feel like right now I can at least tell you guys the process of getting this hair color so I used my BW2 bleaching powder and I use my cream developer in the salon care number 40 to get the highest lift on my high wigs unit and I made sure I got it to like a ginger copper shade like kind of like a scissor color if you would say but um I really was feeling that color at first but then I kind of was over it and I just felt like it wasn't like giving me what I was looking for when it came to bleaching this hair so I went ahead and bought these two Revlon box dyes in the shade auburn warm auburn or something like that and I fell in love with this freaking color like 
in love i really want this to be like my signature color but i'm just so glad that i was able to film it and you know show you guys so you guys know exactly what's going on i know i actually uploaded another video showing you guys how to get this color but um the audio was horrible so excuse me for doing that to you guys because i was just like what the hell i uploaded that video at like five o'clock so yeah it was in true shampoo form because i was like what happened um but yeah i'm just showing you how easy it is to like basically get these two together and mix and create you know the dye and apply it on your hair as messy as you want as long as it's on every strand it really doesn't matter girl and just let it sit on there for at least like an hour and 30 just let your hair just do its own thing go around the house clean up or you know put a show on watch tv just forget about the wig just so you can get the highest intensity at first when you're applying the color you may not think it's doing anything but i promise you it will i put that part in the video as well like you'll see the difference from me applying it and then after letting it sit it was like really beautiful deep shade i love this color so much because it's not like a maroon or a um uh burgundy type of color it's more of a I want to say like ginger red or you know I don't know how to explain this color but it's just something that's very wearable for my complexion this color that you see that I end up bleaching it to to achieve this color it wasn't like an everyday color for me it just felt like I was I wasn't like going towards this wig as much as I would now because of the color so i haven't took this damn wig off guys like every time i put a black one on i'm like nope let me just go ahead and just you know turn back around and put my high wigs unit back on but um how i feel about the hair and how it's holding up because i bleached this hair twice just to get like two different dimensions in the hair and also the knots i feel like it's doing really really great like i have zero cons with it it's, it doesn't shed it's holding up really nice and box dye from your local walgreens cvs or walmart i seen it in all three of them walmart is the cheapest it's two dollars but i end up getting mine from um cvs and they actually had a deal for two for six dollars so not bad at all so definitely check it out if you do achieve this color or want to try this color and it turns out really great let me know and send me some photos on my instagram at wstco thank you so much guys for just tuning in and i appreciate you guys for being patient i know you've been asking me about this video since i took the first one down and now this one is up so i hope you guys appreciate this one a little bit more so love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one Thank you.